All right, I'm excited to uh, to be here tonight with you guys. Um, I know there's lots going on and uh, with with the events coming up with Stephen. I'm wondering if I should mute. Where I remember it was. Oh, what noise is that? Is that somebody watching TV <laughs> in the background? Oh, there we it go. was okay. Mike and Annie talking, so I muted. Oh, that's okay. No worries. Okay. Um, anyways, I just wanted to say I had a wonderful uh, three days and, um, you know, I had, I had an event with Shelly and, um, and then we had an event, well, first with Rose, then with Shelly and, and then with um, Sean. And there was something I want to play play for you guys because I think it's important that you understand um, why I do what I do and why we do what we do but how we keep that excitement and, and passion because I think that's really really important so I'm just going to play this really quick video and I want to have a discussion um, around this Welcome to Minute with Maxwell today. Hi, I'm John, and I'm working through, again, the 16 laws of communication. Law number three is the law of conviction. What a great law this is. The stronger you believe it, the more people feel it. This is a chapter and a teaching about passion. There's something incredible and something very contagious about being in the um, environment or being in the auditorium and listening to a man or woman not only teach with clarity, but be filled with incredible conviction that you can just tell that this is more than a lesson that they're passing on to you or me. This is a conviction. This is a life that they live. And the law of conviction basically says that our greatest communication is in areas where our life has been changed, where our life has been touched, where we look back and say, I became a different person at that time. Here's what I know about the law of conviction. When you hear someone speak with passion, conviction, heart, it draws you to them emotionally. You come close, you admire them, if you get real close, it'll be contagious. And when it's contagious, it'll become powerful. That's why I often teach who mentors you is as important as what they say. The person, the man or the woman that lives the life becomes contagious to the people that they mentor. And you walk away not only knowing something, you walk away feeling something and becoming that person. That's the law of conviction. My name's John. Thanks for coming with me today on Minute with Maxwell. So, uh, you, yeah, you know. I'd like to hear it again, though, at some point, right? It's on YouTube. So I'll send you the link because I think yeah. it's a very powerful message. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's interesting because, you know, we've, I've been in this industry and with Neil like, for 34 years, right. And a lot of people say that when you're doing something long enough, eventually it just feels like you're just doing it over and over and again, it's the same thing over and over again. And it's, when I was listening to his message, I thought, I still feel that passion and that excitement. Like it's, it's, I don't, I don't think it'll, and it's really cool because I remember when I met Jeannie Aldridge the first lady that bought that first bottle of Tran N. And, you know, she was so excited when she saw me. She was so passionate about what she had to share. And I still remember that. And, you know, when I was at these events this weekend and doing one show after another show after another show, and 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 some people said to me, wow, you know, you're you're, you're on the road and you're gone again. I'm like, I don't feel that. I just feel that passion. I can't wait to the get to the next event. Like I can't wait to meet somebody that I can impact. And, you know, Sean and I met a young girl and, and whether or not she'll ever come on board, but I remember speaking with her, she's a young nurse. And, and when she was sharing her troubles, her issues, health challenges, 
and spending $300 a month on medication mm -hmm. with severe rheumatoid arthritis. And she said she can't function without the drugs. And, and all I could think about was, boy, if she doesn't do something now as a young woman, what could happen down the road? Here she's maybe in her 20s. And I was like, even Sean and I looked at each other, we thought, oh, if only she would listen. But she doesn't have the money because she's spending $300 a month on drugs. But she's open to learning. We shared the information. She's in the healthy living community. And we just pray that one day she'll reach out and we'll just keep the communication going. And, you know, and, and we hope that we instilled that passion on how we impact her life. And I, I think we did. I think I shared with her, I shared her a few testimonials, but it's how we talk about it. It's that passion and that conviction. And how do you get that? Well, first of all, your, your own personal stories, right? Your own experience on the products or, or your loved ones or people, you know, that, that you know um, in your life, right? Um, so I think that message was, was so powerful. So definitely, Leonie, I think it's worth listening to over and over again, I'll actually um, post it in the, um, in the group, because it is a YouTube link. Um, mm -hmm. But I think um, it's, uh, it's a very powerful message. So maybe if you want to share something that you got from it, anybody? When? I got that that's you. So I really believe that I'm serious. You are, a, a, you're a force to be reckoned with. You're just amazing in everything you do. I mean that. So I saw you in his words. It was you. Thank you. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's other people too, but I'm listening to you more than anyone else because you're you're doing the presentations and yeah. Right. And you do well. Thank you. <laughs> yes. As, um when we had the um and now I've just said uh because I just got on. This was 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 this from Monday's um team no I, I just played uh john maxwell's little two minute oh clip okay on passion, on passion and um conviction okay okay yeah on, on that like on how in order to be successful in what you're doing you need to have the passion and conviction and we we're just sharing how you know over the weekend where that passion and conviction came from hmm. and if you guys want i can play that clip again if you want to hear it again i know joan's just joining us but maybe we can have maybe some of the girls that were on to share what they got from it and then i'll play the video again mm -hmm. for joan and cindy because i think I, I i enjoy i've heard it a few times mm -hmm. and it will does will not hurt to hear it again i wanted to say um exactly like well what when was saying that um monica when you when you were doing the presentation here and i, I think i shared with you that monica wrote to me and just said how amazing you were how knowledgeable, how confident you are. And that just, yeah, shines right through. And mm -hmm. like the passion you have. So that does, yeah, impact people. Mm -hmm. I just want to say too, I second all that, what uh, what they were saying, the saying about Nada. One of the things too, I mean, it's like you say, you've done it for so long and many of us have done it long. And and um, when you when you do something and you know you love it, and that's the thing. It says, speak with your heart and your passion. It just comes through, right? So, I mean, like, for example, like today, there was a lady in a fitting room, okay? And she had a broken arm. And and I think because I'm so naturally, I wanted to help her, it came through that she says, oh my gosh, she's so helpful and stuff like that. And I thought, okay, I got to tell you about your life. And you know what? Because of the fact that we care, and you said that's about that young lady, because you care about that person. It's not about, you know, when I sign her up as a club member, it is about their health. And Ashley had said something, the person in front of you, what is the best thing for them? And I was helping with the clothes and I didn't have to do that, right? Uh, and anyway, I gave her one of those flyers. So she said, oh, I'll come. But point is, when they see that, they see your excitement and what you're trying to tell them, it's believable because you yourself are on a high. I, I get on a high. I'm on a high at times, right? And uh high on your life I guess <laughs> so that's the thing you know but that's it comes through when you're talking so yeah sure does Serena any thoughts well, yeah I was just I was just thinking um like the passion really comes sort of naturally it's not something that you can create like it just happens 
because of belief. And I think the belief comes from seeing the changes that it makes in people's lives and, and, and in their health. So it starts with the change of, of, you know, seeing these amazing changes in people's health. You have the belief and then the passion, it just happens. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. And I yep. see that. I thought when I agree, I, I, I was totally picturing you, Nada, when he was speaking. Oh. Yeah. You, when you just, you have that amazing way of when you're in a room, people know that you're there. Like they, you, you just have this presence about you that is, I don't even know what the word is. It's just very, you're just really attractive to people. Like, to, you know, you speak from the heart and people really are attracted to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, just yeah. In, 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 even besides new life, just in your life, um, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. like, just like, look at what you did for me for my birthday, for Leonie's birthday. Yes. Like, oh, we, yeah. This isn't, right, this isn't about me. And going to Belinda's and you're just, yeah, you're just always, and not just with your knee life in your life. Totally. So, mm-hmm. and oh, I did I, everything that everyone's saying lovely about that. <laughs> 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 you're going to get, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about your belief about your conviction i'm so glad this is recorded (laughs) (laughs) well see you're the good leaders you're a great leader so you know people gravitate you you guys all have some of that and that's good i can do (laughs) oops you all have you all have some of that you all do and that's what i want you to understand like Mm -hmm. you know you're all leaders in your businesses and people will follow you when you talk with conviction and belief and passion, mm-hmm. right? And you all have it. You guys are, are I think, um, not giving yourself enough credit. So I, I, I understand when you were listening to him and you, you saw me and I, 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 can, I, can, I can feel it because I can understand it. Mm-hmm. But that's not where I wanted to go with this today. I wanted to go with, oh, sorry, Joan? Said, Nada, you have the enthusiasm and I think it's intentional. We have to make it intentional as well too, because sometimes we could just not be enthusiastic, but you have to mm. remember, <laughs> remember to be enthusiastic because you, you're very enthusiastic in, in addition to your passion, right? We can be passionate, but you're just, you know. And people do get, people love being around that. So don't be afraid to share. Like the more confident you get in sharing and, and, and being enthusiastic, you're going to be amazed at how people will just start coming, coming to you. Mm-hmm. Cause that's what you want, right? You want people to, to, to want to know what you're doing and they want to, you, they want, you want them to want to be a part of our culture because we have a good thing. Mm-hmm. Like people, when they get involved and they see what we do and, and, and as a community, they're grateful to be a part of it right so and it's our job it's our responsibility to make sure that we exude that so don't be afraid to it's powerful it really really is especially if you want like I said if you want to be successful and grow this business this is the one thing that's going to attract people to to what we're doing and it's not so much the knowledge it's it's that enthusiasm and excitement Okay, because just remember, I was a director in my second month, and I knew nothing about the marketing plan. I knew nothing about, I knew a little bit about train in, but I couldn't do the presentations. I was like, just sharing because I was excited. And, 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 and that's never gone away. I, I, I've gotten, I have polished it a little bit. I'm not as overpowering, overbearing like I used to be, because I think I was a little too strong in the beginning. But I still have that inner that inner feeling, right? And that's what's really important. So Joan, if you want, uh, and Cindy, I'll play that little video um, that I shared because it, it's, uh, I, I, I found it quite, uh, if I can find it now, hmm, I'm not sure where it is now, hang on. It was one of the PowerPoint um, and show, oh, here it is, okay. If I can, let me see if I can do this share screen here it is yeah i'm getting my techie stuff is not bad eh, guys <laughs> sound, make sure you have sound right share already, 
Yeah, I did that. Oh, do I have to do it again every time? Oh no, I already did. Okay, hang on. Slide show, current slide. Okay, let's listen to. Who is it? Who is he? What's his name? John Maxwell. But that's Maxwell. Oh, okay, he looks yeah, like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Welcome to Minute with Maxwell today. Hi, I'm John, and I'm working through, again, the 16 laws of communication. Law number three is the law of conviction. What a great law this is. The stronger you believe it, the more people feel it. This is a chapter and a teaching about passion. There's something incredible and something very contagious about being in the um, environment or being in the auditorium and listening to a man or woman not only teach with clarity, but be filled with incredible conviction that you can just tell that this is more than a lesson that they're passing on to you or me. This is a conviction. This is a life that they live. And the law of conviction basically says that our greatest communication is in areas where our life has been changed, where our life has been touched, where we look back and say, I became a different person at that time. Here's what I know about the law of conviction. When you hear someone speak with passion, conviction, heart, it draws you to them emotionally. You come close. You admire them. If you get real close, it'll be contagious. And when it's contagious, it'll become powerful. That's why I often teach who mentors you is as important as what they say. The person, the man or the woman that lives the life becomes contagious to the people that they mentor. And you walk away not only knowing something, you walk away feeling something and becoming that person. That's the law of conviction. My name's John. Thanks for coming with me today on Minute with Maxwell. So that's why we had the big discussion. <laughs> I, 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 I watch, I have a bunch of them saved and uh, I just, every once in a while, I think, oh, I'm going to pick that one. Um, the timing is perfect. I think, especially with what's coming up this week. And, uh, you know, I'm just so grateful to have that feeling still 33 years or 34 years uh, later. Right. So, so now that Joan and Cindy have seen the video, any other things you want to add? Cause I know the girls, we have discussion around that video tonight. Anything else that popped? I, I would say, um, I just want to add that, um, you know, how they say that you should be, um, um, you're kind of influenced by the five people that you spend the most time with. Mm -hmm. So when he said getting up close to that person, right? So, and I, I feel like we're all, have that up close to you and to and to so many in neo life um, the leaders you know we're, we're yeah. really blessed to have that um, you know conventions and different things that um, with zoom I mean we're exposed even that much more so um, <clears throat> yeah so that that stood out for me and 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 we're fortunate that we are you know able to get together there's some teams you know, in the US, the only time they get together will be at convention or at um, at um, retreat, because a lot of them are spread out all over, right? And we're fortunate that we have our teams pretty close, right? So we can still get together and, and do events together. And uh, so that's definitely a bonus that we have um, as a group. So awesome. Um, so I just want to quickly um, there, I'm going to show something that Joan and Winston have put together for for profit before we do that i just want to quickly go over um our event coming up um on thursday night so we're having our barbecue um sorry our potluck on thursday with everybody that's welcome that that's you know in the area on the thursday um and then the friday we're getting together for like a bit of a training and going out in the community and sharing 
and uh, talking to people out in the field, like in the grocery store and, and uh, whether it be, you know, at K Entire, like I've talked to, or at the grocery store, I have a guest coming that I talked to at the Metro grocery store that's really, really interested in looking at the income opportunity. So I'm just going to share some of the things that I've said and what I say when I'm out and about talking and how I start conversations. So we're going to do a bit of practicing on Thursday. Uh, so on Friday, and then we're going to go for a hike. But mm -hmm. Friday night, I, th I think is going to be epic. Okay, Friday night is going to be amazing. So I'm, um, Stephen would like three product testimonials and three income um, business opportunity um, um, testimonials. So that's something I want you guys to think about. Um, you know, maybe we can discuss, discuss this tomorrow, tomorrow, or send me a message who you think you would want the front of the room sharing the product testimonial and business testimonial. Okay, I think it's important because you guys are bringing people out, and I want to know who you want up there. Um, sharing their stories okay um, and then we're going to come back for a barbecue on the Saturday night um, after the event and uh, I have Shelly picking up chicken burgers good ones at a health food store that we know and uh, and vegan burgers as well because I didn't have time to make anything but I found she found a really nice uh, nice spot I told her to go to a nice uh, organic place in Fergus okay so that's what's happening um, but what I'm going to do now, um, Yuli, you're going to have to listen to the recording because you missed the excitement. <laughs> I did. That's okay. But that's okay. That's the beauty of, of, of having this recording. I'm going to try. I'm sorry. I just came in. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Leone, you're going to say something? Yeah, I have a question. Sorry. Uh, on Friday, the Best Western, is there a particular room that we, like it says Best Western 930 you meet them? Yeah, I don't know. There'll be there'll be signs, I'm sure, when when you come okay. in. I don't know yet, so I'm yeah. trying to. Okay. And, and are we do, are we doing um, like people that are coming in? Um, are we doing like a sign in sheet? Yeah, that's one I thing. Think, I think we should. Yeah, I think we yeah. should. We always have. Yeah. So yeah, we definitely should. I have to find. Do you have some of those sign sign, sign in sheets, Cindy? Do you have some? Handy? I, I can look and see if I still. Yeah, should have. Yeah. And okay. and like you were saying, like brand new guests right that they they will have something like they will all walk away with something like a, yeah actually i got 26 the the nice 60 um anniversary shaker cups oh nice nice yeah and i thought i would put an upbeat mm -hmm. like I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna donate that put one upbeat packet maybe inside every shaker cup what do you think? I, that's what yeah. I was thinking would be a nice giveaway. Yeah. I thought either the first 26 people or do you think I should do guests and members? I think, I, I guess. think, I think, the, uh, I think the guests. Yes. I, I think yeah. guests should be more so than. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, will you be doing like a draw for anything at any point or? I'm, I'm, I'm still, yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm, okay. I'm just going to, I'm going to go look at my stash and see what, what kind of things I have down there. <laughs> So, so Nada, you said everybody, like the guests will get a giveaway. Is that what you're saying? Besides yeah. the draw? Yeah, so I, I, think I, I was hoping every guest would, would, would leave with a shaker or maybe the first 26 guests. Because I don't know, if we're going to get more than 26 guests, that'd be awesome. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but then how would you, yeah, then how yeah. would you give the other guests if there's more than 26 guests? Well, I'll, maybe I'll say the first 26 guests that come to the door. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I have been kind of saying that there will be, you know guests any like new guests yeah, not, maybe we'll do draws maybe we'll do draws for the for the rest of them mm -hmm. yeah. i think, think we can do a tally be... right before it starts we can have some, an idea of the tally because if they're registering at the door mm -hmm. we have an idea of of what that is yeah right? so maybe, maybe guess, if you uh, want can, if you guys can who who can help me at the registration desk then to help me with that because i think that'll be an important uh i can like, help really you with important. that nada i can help you with that Okay. We do events that work like that, so I can kind of help you keep that organized. Excellent. Okay. I'm just going to try. I'm trying to find. Sorry. Uh, I just opened up what Joan's document, and it's somewhere Which one? in the back. Which one is that? Um, the one that Winston emailed it to me, and it's open, but I have to find where it's open. Hang on. It's somewhere. No, that's not it. Sorry, I'm trying to find your file, like the, the to show the prices. It's when you start um, opening too many things. I know it's here somewhere. Hang on, let me just see here. 
um, what did he call it again? The comparison, um, sorry, it's the price, it's to show you the income that's generated a copy of profit, huh? a PDF. Um, sorry, I thought I had, I opened it, but I don't know where it is now. Canadian another, price. another question, Nada, if people, you know, if they decide at that time they want to sign up, we would have a lap, your laptop there. Oh yeah. Yeah. We'll have laptops there. We'll have everything. Yeah. yeah just, just in case. Yeah. Right. And your phone. Yeah, I think I found it. I found it. Hang on. Okay. There. Okay. Can you see that? Oh, that's mm -hmm. just prices. This is, right Glance. Is, this right? this is the right one, right? Yeah. He did put shipping and tax. Yeah. Okay, so get at a glance, you know, when you're at a show, sometimes people ask you, so how much is it? You have it right there. Like even the detox, that's the, the um, price and delivery, tax and shipping. Cool. Mm. Wow. The 10% off, some I don't, I didn't fill it, 10% or the 20% or promoter's price. It's like a cheat oh, sheet. That's right. Yeah, it's a good cheat sheet. If somebody says how much is, and, and you did the US, Oh, you did the detox in US. Excellent. Can we get a copy of that, please? Yes, that's why I'm showing it to you. <laughs> I, will, I will send it an email. Joan just. Uh, Thank you, Joan. And Winston. Winston, yeah. Google, yeah. I think it's Google Share. You can go in. So I can set, we can send it. Um, I think a I Google Doc. Google Doc and share and you share. So you can, you can actually change stuff in there yourself. Mm -hmm. And I did save it as a PDF and Winston said I could just attach it to and send it to you guys. But if you want to, if you want, because some people, um, anyways, I, I just wanted to, you to see this amazing tool that Joan and Winston put together for us. And I think it's going to come in handy. And uh, maybe I should even have some copies available mm -hmm. for uh, here. I'm going to write that down. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should complete it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is it? What is it that you want to do? Complete it? Like the vegan revolution, I just have the twenty percent. You assume it's going to be, you know, this is. Oh, I see. Um, where is it here? Oh, I see. Omega three, ten percent. Yeah, but we, you know what? We're we're doing mainly twenty percent savings. So I think you're okay, unless you want to, Joan. Before I print it, if you want to complete it, let me know. No, I don't. Not right. Okay, now. that's okay. No, I'll I'll send it as is. It's a great tool. the The important stuff is there, right? And, and, and the detox, detox is about 80 US. It's 80 Canadian, right? Well, 90. Well, it's it's yeah, at the bottom. 90. Higher than that now. 90? It's 90. I think it's 92 Canadian around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But the 20%, right? 25% mm -hmm. is probably close mm -hmm. to 90. Yeah. 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 It'd be a little bit more at the 10%. Right. So that's a great tool, eh? So I'm really happy. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank for, you, Joan. Yeah. Thanks, Joan. Yeah. That yeah, would be a great, great tool. So I would need that as a PDF just because I have a Mac and it, it won't always let me open Google things. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I saved it as a PDF, so I'll, I'll share it. I'll send it to you guys. Yes. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Cool. Anyways, I wasn't too prepared today for anything else other than that, but anything else you guys want to go over or discuss or talk about Joan? Right. Yeah. When I've been reading my book, uh, what's the name of it? I'll, I'll tell you, it's so good. It's about visualization. I know Nada, you do a lot of visualization and I think you have to really think about it. Uh, we visualize every minute of the day, right? And whatever you want, you visualize and you get it. So we have a lot of negative things that we visualize, right? So just think about it. Do you visualize it? What do you want in your business to really visualize the positive things? And there's some, some things, I mean, I do it as well. You, you know, if someone doesn't call you back, you think, oh, they're ghosting me or something. You know, we have these thoughts as opposed to thinking, no, you know, they're, they're interested and, and they're going to call me or whatever, right? So visualization is huge. And it's, it's a science because they use it with cancer, cancer patients, right? Mm -hmm. with cancer yeah. patients. So just remind the guys, just visualize, you know, visualize the good stuff, what you want, what you want, you know? And it's funny because that was one of the big messages from Matthew McConaughey when yeah, okay. I watched his, his session and he journals every day he has journals galore piled up 
and and that has been his one of the, one of the things that are and he even admitted that he has a lot of doubt a lot of insecurities and you would never know that you know um for, and, and how amazingly successful um he's been and uh you know he's he had so much doubt and and and, and and he was always worried and concerned and and his wife even still says to him that he still doesn't believe in himself but you would never never sense that from him right because he just pushes forward visualizing writing things down um focusing on the good being positive so yeah huge joan yeah. huge huge i'm reading his book i'm reading his book the one that you got me you guys i oh, love good. it yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I hope you read it fast. <laughs> Somebody wants to borrow it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's good. I, I told I told her, let's get her that book because I want to read it after she's done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, great book. Thank you, Joan, for that. The vi visualizing um because it really is what's going to get us through to the to to where we want to be, you know, and even Sean, like, you know, when I was with Sean this weekend, um she has well look at her smile she's always smiling right and uh you know and when, when even when shared, i'm frozen uh, even when you're frozen <laughs> you smile girl um you know her family her kids her husband like the, the whole we had so much fun and and you know watching the hockey game and it was really funny we're watching the game and and uh and and mike and i were button heads because he kept saying ah look the, look at the way they played the first half of the game i said stop I said don't you talk negatively about the Leafs they're gonna win he's like ah, I don't know not the way they play the first half of the game. and I just said stop thinking like that I said they're gonna win you gotta put that energy through the tv and we were laughing right and sure enough right and when, when they were doing well in the, in the well overtime right and uh he said see I told you they play better at, at, you know in, in the third <laughs> overtime i'm like oh <laughs> yeah, right. Nada was gonna yeah nada was gonna attack him <laughs> yeah. Joan, but it, it, sorry. go ahead when it was just joan i was gonna just ask you you the, the book that you're reading about visualization is that a new book or is that mary morrissey oh that's mary morrissey your invisible power i got it <laughs> Time to, time to read it. <laughs> They're all work in progress. And I think when things are not like, you know, the peaks and valleys, right? When you're flying high, you don't do those things, right? But when you're in the valley, that's when you remember to do deep breathing. <laughs> you remember all those things when you're anxious. But when you everything is okay, you don't, right? So this is, if we're working, always to be reminded. What's it called again, John? Your Invisible Power. I'm not sure if you can get it in the bookstores because it, it was written like 1920 something. <laughs> oh, oh, it's on Amazon. Your Invisible Power by Genevieve B. E. Yeah, for $5.75. $5.75. Everybody get one. <laughs> Serena, if you order one, get me one. <laughs> and I'll give you like, one. Is it this I'll one? Is that it? Yeah, order, order a couple. Like your <laughs> yeah. invisible it's like power. cover it's a paperback yes okay hey serena get me one too please and i'll <laughs> okay let That'd us be know cool. what it comes to we'll give you anybody else we'll i'll bring you them in yeah. yeah. okay so just a <laughs> sec one okay so leone Nada, cindy that's three anybody else if they're going to be in Yuli, before four. Friday, John, yeah, yeah. If they're going to be in before you know what, Friday, get us all I can one. Order my own. Are you kidding, that, Amazon? John? It'll probably be here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be here by Thursday. Very fast. You'll have it when you get here, Sean. Yeah, get us all one, and then we'll give you money when we see you on Friday. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Serena. Okay. <laughs> and those of those of you that missed out tonight, you're missing out. You have to order it on your own. <laughs> have to borrow it from you when you're finished it. We can share, we can share, but we have to finish it first. Yeah. <laughs> it's a book that you keep, right? You don't lend it out because you always so get it back. <laughs> I save all my these books from Mary because they're oh right yeah, mine are in my bookcase right behind me. You can't say, share it. You just keep it 
because you never know when you you just mm -hmm. you want to look through so okay okay, okay. forget mm -hmm. i said i shared with any <laughs> good, good question then joan is when you're saying when you were saying that um you know people tend to pick these books up when they're on the on, on the on the valley but not on the peaks um is the message there that we should always be even in the peaks like is that part of the this is just my my thinking right normally yeah. that's that's human nature right yeah, when right. everything's going well yeah. you know you do you know you, like for instance deep breathing i didn't realize i wasn't deep breathing right mm -hmm started having some pains then you say oh i gotta deep breathe same idea if your business is going great you know some of us are we're trained to, to read the books but it's only when it's not going that great and that that happens to me i i turn to that sort of stuff when it's when it's not where i want it to be this is the personal growth and the belief that we have right but it's, okay. it's so it's so awesome yeah awesome well uh thank you i think tonight was an awesome session um we definitely have to share this link with uh, our team that didn't make it tonight so i'll definitely send it up but encourage some of the guys in your in your group that they need to go back and watch this session because i think it really help them and inspire them and uh get them moving forward um it, uh, things are happening you saw the stats for the sponsoring in north america joan my gosh joan you're just on fire cindy I know Leone, you're, Leone did her 4,000 this month. So I want to say congratulations. Mm -hmm. You've been working so hard, very, very hard. Uh, and Serena, because of you, Luke, did a, you got my son to direct her this month. But I told Luke, yeah, you did. But I told Luke, I said, don't be dependent on that because Serena's going to be hopping and growing again. I said, you're going to have to start getting more and more people involved because he has a few members and customers under um Moses, right? That's happening and they've signed people up. And so that's why that's happening. So I told him, I said, nope. But anyways, it's kind of cool because he needed money this month. So rather than asking me for money, Neil, I said, <laughs> Neil I'm going to give him a check. <laughs> Which is kind of um, cool. And Yulie, my goodness, the activity that's happening in your, uh, in your team and all the, the members that you're signing up, I know you're looking for that promoter. And I know Luz is, mm -hmm. is, is kind of there, and but I know mm -hmm. you're going to find that gold mine pretty darn soon because you're so persistent. Mm -hmm. And when hearing your story and, and being at Good Life and talking and connecting with people um, and also working with Ashley, I think the two of you, um, who, who's working with Ashley right now? I'm Heather. Heather and Tina Heather. from Hawaii. So the four of us are working together at the same time, but she works with wow. other people too. That's... Yeah. We found out about it because she was, she talked about in one of the um, leadership calls, she talked about working with Kristen Bailey and how she, mm -hmm. she became a director. Well, and I didn't realize she had been a director before, but she got herself back up to director. Up again. Yeah. 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 In a month. Yeah. In less than a month with Ashley. Yeah. Well, we're going to be booking our flight soon, those of us Ooh, that yeah. are ready to fly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Serena, uh, and, and some of us are, are thinking of leaving Tuesday. So we're going to think, of, we'll talk about this. Um, and uh, we're going to book a couple of rooms, I think, under my air, my airplane, air, air miles. So uh, we're, we're going to do some um, talking after the retreat. We're going to sit and discuss where mm -hmm. we're flying and what we're doing. So I'm so excited. Like this is just just the start. So I'm really, really looking forward to to this week and uh and looking forward to our July. Um so yeah, so let's show Stephen how we rock uh on Thursday when we all connect and he's so looking forward to connecting with all of us. So so excited that uh that this event is happening. Perfect timing I think in all of our lives. Yeah. 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 Yeah, awesome. Very well, much. thank you again, guys, and we'll see you. Anybody bringing any guests over at eight? I'm I hoping to have may have a I've guest. invited three, so awesome. I've invited yeah. they wanted yeah. from Sunday. They filled it out on my form that they wanted to come. So oh, good. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what's exciting? We're getting new people starting. The, the momentum is starting. We're getting new people on the on the Tuesday nights, which is which is really really cool. So I've got yeah. a guest coming. Too, so I'm pretty excited. So yeah. awesome. So we'll I see you guys. Sure. So hopefully they'll show up. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Visualize. Up. They oh, will yeah. show up. They will show up. <laughs> they will show I invited up. guests and they will show up. <laughs>
Well, it's in the well, it's in the future. They are showing. You have to. Oh, they mm -hmm. are showing. Uh, they showing up. Are showing up. Mm -hmm. They are showing up. All right, guys. All right. <laughs> showing up. You. You See you I will be showing. Bye. 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 Bye.